Keep it real. We're going to stand on it. We are going to ask and, and seek the resignation of the individual who told mother to, that they were going to give her son's body to science. It's clear that person doesn't even be in that position because he doesn't know how to handle him. Uh, so maybe we need to move him somewhere else, but he should not be handling him under this situation. So with that in mind, Thank you. 
speak, mother. We got your back, for real.
Did they hold her too long? So I told my son, we took pictures of him and everything, and we went back. And we went to the South Pole Lake and let Captain Thomas see where we were standing at and concerned him with these pictures. How did my son get all these pictures, these bruises and stuff on his body if he wasn't beaten up? Because he was very muscle of God. He took muscle uh, activities and things and stuff. So how did he get this on him? I've had two different stories about how they found him dead. Gary Pastor said he found him. And he said that uh, when he found him, he was laying on the floor by this door that's in the back of the room where he's supposed to have been sleeping at. And so I said, well, when he noticed that his keys were still on the, t on the table where he puts them in when he goes to work. And he said he noticed that his car was still in the driveway. So that's one reason why he went to see what was going on. So I questioned Mr. Uh, Gary Gasper, and he said that uh, when he came in, he laid his keys there, and he had been grocery shopping. So I asked him, I said, Mr. Gary, I said, uh, did he put his groceries up? He responded, he said, yes, he did. He said, you want to see him? I said, no, I do not want to see his groceries. When we come in that house, it was water all on the floor. It was a washing machine and a dryer was there. The washing machine was California and still being side by side by the washer or the dryer. So we asked what was going on and Mr. Gary uh, said it was a, a water bus. So we went on down further in the room. I said, well, I'd like to know where his belongings is, where is I can, so we can start to get them out. And I said, where's the light so we can turn the light switch on? And he said, oh, the policeman came in and they started throwing things all over in the room and they knocked the brick off. And I said, I just said, oh, to myself, okay. So when the policeman come out, they couldn't go in the house, but I was told because it was electric wires and things was laying all in the floor and hole busted in the wall and stuff. So they asked Mr. Gary Gosper what happened. They said, oh, a rat had got over to the wires and ate a hole in there while the water bust and anything, but I didn't believe that. And so they had to cut off everything in the house before they could go in. When they found Fred's body, it was laying by that door. And every night, he kept a chair behind that door. So uh, that was for security. But the police was in the detective said that door was open. That door was open and my son's body was laying by that door. So that's another suspect to me. Why was that door open? Why was he laying there? When other people that saw him said he was laying on the sofa when it, he had slumped over. So what's going on? You can't say he, one person said he's there and he found it. And a house man saying he found it. So those are facts that is not clear in what happened to my son. And the detectives and things related to me, they come out to my home, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Wood, told me that they had took over 200 pictures and videos in that house. But they still have not come up to me or called me and told me what they had found. So when, when the detectives is on the case, and the medical examiner is doing the procedure that they're supposed to do, they didn't do it, neither one did the correct investigation. They left it open with full of holes in a piece of paper. And when we questioned and asked them about certain details, they just said we still in order, uh, st uh, the case is still open, it's still active. But later we discovered and found out when we got there that night to pick up Fred's things, they had a for sale sign in the yard that said the house has been sold. Now, mm -hmm. December the 8th, we found on the record saying they just sold the house. The value of that house in that land is very valuable. They had a suit on that house, and now they done sold the house mm -hmm. when the house is more valuable than one point million dollars. Mm. 
So how is they gonna, how is the detectives gonna let somebody sell a house when there's been a death crime scene? You know. And they stated that they couldn't sell the house or do nothing until after the investigation was over, but they did it anyway. They let it happen anyway. So that's another hole in the, fl in the flower or hole in the wall that they're not telling us the truth about it. So with all this here said and done, when we raised the money funds to go get a sucker, a taxi, done on my son, Fred Jackson, they hurry up and called me this here. and told me that, uh, Ms. Johnson, I said, yeah. So when we've been discussing this and say, we decide we're gonna come pick up Fred's body and take it for a, a taxi gun. And uh, I just started thinking, I said, uh, well, thank you, no. Thank you, no, thank you. I said, because we already done raised the money for him to have a second thing. He said, well, we finna send somebody to come pick up Fred's body right now. Mm. And before we could leave the funeral home, within maybe 15 minutes, we was on our way back home, the funeral home people calls me and tells me that Terrell County is coming to remove my son's body. Mm. They had an order to remove my son's body. I said, mm -mm. no, you can't do that. It's in my parish, in my mm -mm. jurisdiction now. You turn it over to me. The thing that you're supposed to not already did, you should have took care of it in the beginning. beginning. So you're giving me false statements about the whole case. Mm -hmm. But now you want to go in when we done uh, raise this money fund to have it done to get a second opinion. So I turn around. I said, you got to turn around and go back. You turn around and go back when we get there. I said, they are not allowed to remove my son's body from this funeral home unless they have a court order. And when the little Hispanic guy was getting ready to load Fred's body, I said, where is your court order? He said, ma'am, I don't have no court order. He said, I was just told to come pick this body to return it back to the medical center. I said, really? Who gave you this authority? Who gave you this permission to remove my son from this funeral home? He said, I'm just taking order. So I went back and discussed it with the funeral people. They said there wasn't nothing they could do because it was supposed to be an order and there was never no order. No paperwork or nothing to show that they could legally do that. So they took my son's body from Dallas County back to Fort Worth without my permission. Mm. And they did what they wanted to do on his body. Mm. Okay. I don't know what went inside. I don't know what, I just got the mm. pictures that we took in the beginning when they first sent him to the funeral home. So there's another hole in the paper. Mm -hmm. Bodies and, and evidence does not lie. Facts. Mm -hmm. You don't have no facts because you kept telling us that you was waiting on the results to come back. When that body went back to your facilities, anything could have happened, anything you could have did to clear your name when you made the first mistakes. So now it's time for me to put my son to rest. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what happened to my son, mm -hmm. but we're gonna go further. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go further and further until we get to the point where somebody's gonna have to answer to what mm -hmm. happened to my son. Amen. And we're gonna find out why they put those holes in them papers and they didn't protect my son Amen. while they was on the investigation. They didn't even try to stop these people from selling their house or nothing. It was just like it was just, a, we found the dead body and that was it. But it's more to it than that. See, it's a point in time where Christ and his angels see everything. Mm -hmm. Like Pastor Taylor said, racism has been going on for years mm -hmm. in this county. Mm -hmm. And it should have been a stop mm -hmm. because we have improved on both sides of life. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go, you find a black, Hispanic, Mexican, or any other color that's working in a place of business or even in a place of restaurant or at a place where you shop and buy different things. That you got a different color. When, when you get to the point where you want to have worship one color, you think you're perfect. Mm -hmm. You're not perfect. No one on this earth is perfect. Mm -hmm. So you should get away from that brainwashing 
where people have brainwashed you to hate this person, hate that person, mm -hmm. but your children mm -hmm. is the one that make love and family members mm -hmm. go on with the best way because they're serving God right. Amen. And you're not. Amen. You're still living in hundred years, decades ago. Mm -hmm. When the world is stirred and trembling, the new song is stirred and coming. Mm -hmm. So you need to stop. You mm -hmm. started believing in the right Christ. Mm -hmm. Work in the white path that God give us, his only begotten son, mm -hmm. to forgive us when we stop out of mm -hmm. and do the wrong thing. He's the only one we got to go to mm -hmm. to correct these mistakes that we do. Come on. Because that hatred, that bitterness that you done built up in your mind and your heart, and you're going to destroy yourself. Amen. And everything that's love around you. Prophesy. Because these days and these times on this earth zone, when you go to heaven, oh. you're going to have all colors. Amen. On earth, you're going to have all colors. Amen. If you go to hell, you're going to have all colors. Amen. So why do you keep fighting to go around it? Oh. Why do you keep fighting this and this hatred and bitterness mm -hmm. that you have mm -hmm. when you can't go around it? Yes. Yes. Now, you might like Potatoes, mm -hmm. fried, mm -hmm. you're Hispanic. You might like potatoes and you're black, mm -hmm. that's boiled. Mm -hmm. You might be white and you like your potato with first time yeah. dressing on it. And we all sit at the same table. Yes, sir. It's going to be a time when everybody do something different. Yes, yes. But that doesn't give you the reason to, to hate this one and hate that one mm. because they chose what they like mm. or what they want to do. Mm. But you still associate. You still have turn for them. Mm -hmm. You still work together. You still live together. So stop it. Mm -hmm. Stop it today. Mm -hmm. Stop this racial thing mm -hmm. right now, today. Mm -hmm. Because God's son is not using his power through his children for nothing. Amen. The words are coming out. My God. And justice shall be found Amen. for all colors mm. that's been hidden. Mm. It's coming out. Mm. It's going to come out the truth. Praying time. It's going to come out who did it. Because mm -hmm. your conscience, God's going to disturb them. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going to have no way to turn around and no friends and no money came by. Mm -hmm. So you get yourself together. In the name of God. Whoever you are, whatever you did, come before us. In the name of God, reveal yourself. In the name of Jesus, come. In the name of Jesus. Because you got to walk around. Reveal it, God. Reveal it, God. Reveal it, God. Reveal it for us, God. You know what you done done wrong. Reveal it for us, friend. So you didn't think nobody was gonna fight for mm. my son, Axon Jackson. Mm, we gonna get in the street. We gonna beat our feet. Well, see, he stood for that name. Mm -hmm. He helped anybody in the community. That's real. Anywhere he went. That's right. He, he helped, he helped That's right. There wasn't no reason for you to. Godly man. People will use you. They hate you. They jealous of you. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Because you brainwashing your children. Yes, sir. And you're gonna destroy your family name, your mm -hmm. family too. Because those kids gonna grow up and they're gonna turn it back on. Mm -hmm. Because they wanna be loved the right way. Mm. Bottom the rest. And that's through the spiritual of Christ, the way He wants us to be obedient mm. to His word. The law. And that's what I'm saying. This case is all about. That's real. There's no, there's no other way that I can understand, that I can see that this is a hatred case. That's real. There's too many holes in the paper for my son to have to can't find peace and rest here. Now he's getting ready to be laid to rest, and it still ain't peace. Mm, we're going to get but, Oh, Lord. My God. Oh, God Almighty. My God. My God. Now, if you think you powered him, move God. You, move God. Move God. Move God. Get your sins by coming to the truth. She's coming anointed. To the yes. Of what happened. Commanded. And I'm asking the people that's working with me to continue to be strong. Mm. Continue to use the words and the wisdom. We receive it. Jesus give us the word we receive. as warriors. We receive the blessing. In the name of we receive the blessing. Oh, we receive the blessing. 
We gotta keep it real with her family. Oh, she's too real. <laughs>